What's up, guys? This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I, and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. Thank you for joining me once again, my friends. And guys, there is no job in the fandom more thankless than being a critical Star Wars fan. It is a truly thankless job. And the reasons why that is, is because most of us who are critical of Star Wars, especially today's Star Wars, uh, we're coming from a place where we're knowledgeable about Star Wars, some more so than others. I don't con consider myself to be the most knowledgeable Star Wars fan in the world, but I do know what makes sense and what doesn't. I know what works and more importantly, what doesn't work. So when we see a lot of these upcoming Star Wars projects, you know, that have been coming out under uh, Disney Lucasfilm, a lot of us can point out, eh, that's not going to work. That doesn't look good, man. It goes against what's been established. You know what I'm saying? But that tends to be inconvenient to these studio heads because they want to do whatever the hell they want to do with the property. So the last thing they need is a bunch of meddling kids, you know, so to speak, coming in talking about what actually is not Star Wars. So we tend to get called every name in the book that is not flattering, every single uh, affront to humanity we get called, you know? So that tends to be what, ha what happens because they just want us to shut up and go away, basically. If you know what it is, you should just shut up, keep your mouth shut about it, and just enjoy what we're giving you. And they make it up as they go along, whether or not it makes sense. Now, a perfect example of this would be the Kenobi series that came out last year on Disney+. Plus. Right on the face of it, most of us fans and said, nah, that doesn't make any sense. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader are not supposed to meet until Star Wars Episode 4. You know, but once again, we were told to shut up. This is going to be the fight of the century. This is just going to be great. You know, why can't you just appreciate what you're being given? And once again, we were called all of those names that I talked about, all of those colorful names. Now, the aggravating thing about this is after they get through making their money and calling us names and everything like that, they get to look back on it and then say, Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> it wasn't all that good, was it? You know what I mean? And it becomes something that the public accepts now. You know, yeah, Obi-Wan Kenobi did underperform and everything like that. But you had those of us who said this on the outset and were just shouted down. And that's the frustrating thing about it because you see this over and over again, whether it's The Last Jedi, whether it's... uh what's the other one that came out uh boba fett you know all of these things you know you talk about it now nah, that doesn't look good man it just doesn't look good shut up nobody hates star wars more than star wars fans you know but then later on like i said before it becomes common knowledge that it was dog shit indeed you know and we have this uh example here <clears throat> that i want to give you and this was on the uh website startifacts Dot com and it seems that now people are willing to admit that Kenobi was indeed a failure yes the F word and I want to get into this with you guys because you know we have to start turning this thing around where people are learning before they actually make the crap and make all of the money and get the fandom fighting with each other you know what I mean so let's get into this article right here guys we have the headline here and it says Obi-Wan Kenobi series creator finally sets the record straight about season two. Well, now, fans finally got a definitive answer if there will be a second season that improves on the mistakes of the first. The mistakes of the first? You mean the first actually made some mistakes? The hell you say? For the longest time, we were told that this was the fight of rematch of the century. This was a masterpiece. Great performances. You had Hayden Christensen. You had Ewan McGregor together. What could go wrong with all of this? And on top of it, you had Riva! All right, so anyway, now they're actually saying there were some mistakes. But of course, the ultimate mistake of Kenobi was that it was a show in the first place because it never should have happened, let alone getting a season two. But there I go again, getting ahead of myself. It says here, the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series was one of the most eagerly awaited projects by all Star Wars fans in recent years, with exceptionally high hopes for it. There they go, lying again, right off the top. They said that it was eagerly awaited by all Star Wars fans. All, I can understand some, but they said it was eagerly awaited by all Star Wars fans with exceptionally high hopes for it, all of us. <laughs> ah, but then it goes on to say, but much to the, to the disappointment of fans, the show ended up being rather bland and mediocre with only a handful of great moments throughout its run, completely failing to live up to the high expectations. Now you say that it had a handful of great moments and then you go on to say it completely 
failed to live up to the high expectations. That's actually two opposite things. Either you had some great moment, if it had great moments in it, then it didn't completely fail to live up to the high expectations. So you guys see, even in admitting that it was crap, there's still in denial about this. It's so funny, but it's so like shameful at the same time. It's so sad. Even though the series was one of the biggest disappointments in Star Wars history, some fans still held out hope that the potential season two would make up for the mistakes and be a great improvement over the first season. Oh, I tell you, it hurts my heart. It really does. It's like, you know that it was terrible, but you're still holding out hope that season two would make up for the mistakes. This is where we are with the sequel trilogy as well, by the way, guys. It's like, even though... Deep down in all of our hearts, we know that the sequel trilogy was a dismal failure. You still have people who are holding out hope that maybe they'll get this new Ray movie that's going to fix everything. You hope that Ahsoka is going to fix everything. You hope that the Mandalorian is going to fix everything. No, a failure is just a failure. There is no fixing the failure. It is broken. You can't unbreak Han Solo. You can't unbreak Luke Skywalker. You can't unbreak Princess Leia. All right, a failure is a failure. And this is where we are with Disney Lucasfilm Star Wars. However, Kathleen Kennedy, doo -doo 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 -doo, the president of Lucasfilm, recently stated that the Kenobi TV series is on hold <laughs> until the studio comes up with something interesting for it, if that ever happens. And now, Deborah Chow herself seems to have cleared the air regarding a possible season two of the series once and for all. Pay attention, guys. Speaking to Deadline, Deborah Chow said that Kenobi was conceived as a limited series and that it's done. It's done. However, she also added that there are 10 years before New Hope, so never say never if the studio decides to revive the series at some point. If they decide that we're dumb enough to buy it, then they'll make it. <laughs> Fans don't really, where is it? Fans don't really believe the director, saying that if the show had been a success, it could have easily gotten more seasons, at least two, like the Andor TV series, and that Chow is simply trying to justify her own Failure. Yes, they use the word failure. Deborah Chow, fail, fail, Deborah Chow. Once again, lament, uh, they once again lament what a pile of sh what a pile of missed opportunities Kenobi was, killing any chance of seeing Ewan McGregor reprise the role ever again. Both he and Hayden Christensen were great, and it really saddens fans that their performances were wasted on such an underwhelming project. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the article. It really saddens fans that Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor were wasted on such an underwhelming project. <laughs> oh man, there it is, guys. There it is. Once again, hindsight is 2020. But who was saying this? Who was saying this before they even started? The real fans, the critical thinking fans. We could have saved them this. I didn't make this article up. I didn't write this, okay? This is the general consensus. After watching Kenobi, most people who have seen it can at least admit that it wasn't everything that it should have been. It's like, even if you're fans of Riva, even if you're fans of the so-called rematch of the century, it looked cheap. All right, the story didn't work, and there are certain things that you will never convince me make sense, such as how Kenobi could have beat Darth Vader, even though he shouldn't have been facing him in the first place, but how he could have beat him and then left him alive again. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. But see, this is where we are, guys. Once again, hindsight 2020. But those fans who spoke out in the very beginning, who said, listen, this doesn't work, it's not going to make any sense, were demonized. And here we have it. And this is the, the source of frustration for a lot of us. All right. They can admit this now after Disney has made all of their money, you know, after, you know, they've wrung us out, after they've insulted all of us. Will there be an I'm sorry? No, there won't be. They'll just go on to the next thing. It's rinse and repeat and you'll do it all over again. But guys, I just wanted to point this out to you so you can see what this is that we're, we're stuck in, this cycle, this vicious cycle that we're caught in. You have these Disney projects that are losing money. You have the parks that are struggling. They shut down the Galactic Star Cruiser. They don't know what they're going to do going forward. The Ray thing looks like hot shit, you know, but here we go. 
you know, but I just wanted to point it out, guys, because there it is for all to see. Hopefully more people will start to understand what's going on here, guys, because we don't hold them to the high standards that we know Star Wars is capable of under the tutelage of George Lucas and his team. Then we'll never recapture those glory days. Perhaps it's too late already, but at least maybe just maybe we can get them to stop parading the dead corpse up and down the street. All right, guys, there it is. You can get in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this. I will see you on the next one. Thanks. This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on.